My name is John Mills. I'm an amateur radio operator. I'm with Central Indiana Skywarn. And basically what we do, we're all volunteers. None of us are paid or anything. We coordinate all the communications with the ham radio operator spotters in the field with Dave Tusek and the National Weather Service through various tools. Uh, mainly we use the radio, but also we use uh, some chat stuff through the internet. Um, what you're seeing on the screen here is uh, high resolution data software for radar data called Gibson Ridge GR Level Analyst. And what it does is it gives us the ability to see the storms in real time with all the perimeters that they see. And it has street level mapping and all that stuff. So we can position the spotters out in the field to the street level. Uh, with various stuff with the storms. You may have seen this on the Weather Channel when they do a 3D slice of a severe thunderstorm or possible tornado. They can look up in the different layers of the atmosphere and show you a 3D rendering of what it looks like. That's the software. Basically what we do is the watch box will come out. Um, we'll get a phone call from the Weather Service. There's 10 of us uh, involved in our organization and we'll either come out here and sit right next to the warning coordination meteorologist Dave or whoever's on duty, or a lot of times uh, we'll do it from home with the technology we have. We have the software to look at the radar, and then we also have the ability to have instant chat with the National Weather Service through a private chat with emergency management and the media. And we can even break it down to chat directly with the meteorologist so that stuff doesn't go out to the media because they tend to put it on the air immediately. We have two frequencies here in Indianapolis. Uh, we have repeaters on the channel tower and the Q95 tower, one at 550 feet, one at 850 feet, and we serve the metro area, then we have a link up in Lafayette on a water tower at 150, 200 feet, we have a link in Terre Haute, we have a link down in Seymour, and then we're working on uh, Vincennes getting a link all the way down there. We're responsible for 39 counties, all the way from northwest of Lafayette down to Vincennes, over to south of Columbus, all the way up to near Muncie in Winchester. So that's a lot of area to cover. How it works is the watch box comes out, we bring up what's called a severe weather net. We'll link all these systems together, Lafayette, Indianapolis, Terre Haute, Seymour. So when I talk on one, it goes out to all of them. Then say we got a storm coming across the state line in Sullivan County, south of Terre Haute. Lincoln may have had, that's the weather service over in Illinois, they may have had a tornado warning on it, and they may have had reports of a tornado. Well, then we call out to Terre Haute and the area out there, Sullivan County, and say, hey, this storm is coming in. It's going to be 10 miles south of Terre Haute on US 41. Can you tell us what you're seeing? Is there any wall cloud, etc.? They'll relay their information back to their local guys and then one of their local guys for that county will relay back to us. And whether we're at home or we're out here, we'll have direct real-time interaction with the meteorologist on duty uh, who's running the severe weather desk and give him what we're seeing. If we're seeing a wall cloud, a funnel cloud, say the Doppler radar seeing a baseball-sized hail on the radar. Well, the radar goes, when it goes out, it goes up in height. So the radar, this far away from the radar, may be seeing baseball-sized hail at like 6,000 feet. Well, the guy on the ground may not be seeing that. He may have pea-sized hail or he may just have heavy rain. So having the storm spotter out in the field tells the weather source immediately what's going on if it's really happening. A lot of times you'll hear on TV, amateur radio operators are reporting a tornado in Mooresville. Well, they're either getting it from Indie Chat or they're getting it right off the air. They have scanners in their newsrooms where they monitor us, in fact, most of them in their weather centers have earpieces with little scanners they put in their pocket. In one ear, they're listening to their producer, in the other ear, they're listening to us. And they're taking our information and putting it on the air real time, which sometimes is a very good thing. Other times, if it's not confirmed as a tornado, probably not a good thing. Uh, we always work with these guys to confirm stuff. And they also reach out to emergency management, police, fire, to coordinate their their people with our people, et cetera, in the field, to try and get that information all together. The, the end goal being to alert you guys for families, life, property, et cetera, and of tornadoes, hail, all that stuff. So we're kind of the eyes and the ears of the Weather Service. And uh, again, it's all volunteer, and I, I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Any questions? Over, did we overwhelm you yet? <laughs> All right, well, Jason Kuma is standing behind me. He's over here. He's the uh, one of the lead forecasters here at the 
National Weather Service. He's going to give you guys kind of an idea of how they forecast, the computer models they use, and all the tools they use. Jason, are you ready?